Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for my May faves and fails. As always, I'll start out with the fails and the fails in May were all appliance related, or mostly appliance related. It just seemed like everything wanted to break. My hair straighteners just stopped working. I know you're looking at me going, Jennifer, your hair is so short. Why do you use hair straighteners? My hair is so stick straight, it just like springs forth in a straight line. So I have to kind of bend this or else it just looks awful. You guys have seen me without me having done my hair and that is what he straighteners for. The fringe part of my hair every single day and they just stopped working for no reason and so I had to get some new ones. Also the washing machine which had kind of been limping along and we were kind of making it work, it just stopped working properly and it wasn't functioning and that was stressful because I have so much laundry to do. So I needed to get new straighteners which were inexpensive. A new washing machine which was not inexpensive and also my blender broke the jug part of the blender broke so the jug and the base with the blade they screw together and I never actually took them apart I very seldom took them apart because they were on properly and it was sealed and the blender jug was working but every time I screwed the jug onto the food processor base because it was part of a whole set it kind of it tightened the base onto the jug and eventually the jug's little catches at the bottom which it screwed into just started breaking so i'll insert a clip here showing exactly what i mean i guess it just got brittle and every time i screwed it onto the base it would just break a little bit more and then eventually the seal went so that was frustrating i have a smoothie every single day for breakfast i use my blender a lot and i tried to get by with my food processor but it just didn't work and so that leads me nicely into the first one of my faves and because i use a blender every single day and i've tried high-end blenders and i've tried food processors with blenders i was like you know what everyone raves about these nutri bullets and ninjas and whatever i'm just gonna look at one of those and i looked at what was available and what was on sale and looked at reviews and i ended up buying the nutri bullet 600 what is it 600 series so it's like a 600 watt blender and i freaking love it it is so good it just does what it's supposed to do so in case you guys haven't seen it before you have the container into which you put all your goodies so you put it into there it's got like a max line for liquids i've already scratched a line there because i just feel like this paint might wear off um, and then i won't know where the max line is so you put your goodies in there then you screw on your blade which i have once like i was paranoid about screwing the blade on and turning it upside down with liquid in and i screwed it on too tight and it was a pain to get off so you don't have to screw it on tightly you just put it on pop it into the blade into the base and you press down and it blends and you can press down and twist it if you wanted to kind of lock and not have to stand and hold it it just works so well like my smoothie is properly blended without chunks in like 20 seconds it's so good and the other things i enjoy about it is you then have your smoothie in a cup like i don't have to then pour it into a cup like from a jug and dirty one extra thing like it's just in there i just stick my straw in and go also look at that blade like it's got extra bits there so it's got the four whatever and then the extra ones and there isn't like a separate gasket that's what i really like is you just grab this and go there isn't like a seal that comes out that i can tell anyway it just does the job no mess no fuss this was on sale for 80 dollars, and it was worth every penny do you know what i've like skimmed straight into my faves and there was a fail i did want to mention so recently in one of my favorites i mentioned diffusing essential oils in my diffuser that i got from kmart and that was a favorite so the diffusing of the essential oils was a favorite the design of this diffuser not a favorite i did want to mention in case you're thinking oh it's only 22 dollars i'm going to go get a diffuser from kmart save your money get one on aliexpress or somewhere else because it works well like I, I think i did actually mention the diffuser as a favorite because it's got a light it's got like time settings you can put it on for 30 60 120 or 180 minutes like it works well the thing i hate about it is the design not how it looks i think it looks great you can see i haven't put the two together properly because when you go to open the top to like replace the thing you're supposed to grip this and untwist it and pull it apart 
which like I said I hadn't pushed it together properly because I learned not to do that because who's got like a forceful grip with the tips of their fingers and then there you've got the tips of your fingers and you're supposed to twist and pull apart like when you go to pull apart your fingers just want to do that it's the dumbest design like it needs a handle on top or something maybe I'll put a handle on it anyway like once you get it open it's fine like you've got the little tank there to put your stuff in but just the dumbest design like oh let's put um, a perfectly sized globe that you can have minimal grip and then make people have to grip it stupid design anyway I do still use it every single day but I hate that part of it every time I have to go and refill it I'm just like why is it designed so badly okay jumping back into faves I do have faves fails and freebies today so I need to get on with it another favorite is my bedside tables which finally finally I got you guys might remember the whole saga that I ordered these IKEA bedside tables from an importer because we don't have IKEA here in New Zealand and they sent me the wrong ones well there was a bit of a there was a bit of a mix-up with how it was described on their website and in the end they sent me the wrong ones or not the ones I wanted anyway and then it took forever it took about three weeks for the courier to come and pick them up and take them back and then it took forever for them to send me the correct ones I was emailing every day like what's happening what's happening like I'm gonna make a pest of myself until I get my bedside tables but eventually I got my bedside tables and they were worth the wait and they were worth every penny because unfortunately when IKEA goodies are imported into New Zealand that adds to the cost and they're not inexpensive which that's kind of the point of IKEA furniture is it's inexpensive but it works out to not be that cheap anyway I love them I absolutely love them I think they look gorgeous even the dark handles on the drawers they kind of match the dark headboard I don't know if I'm going to leave my headboard dark gray but for now it works I love the storage that it provides they less deep than the ones I had there before so it's easier to make the bed they're just perfect and I absolutely love them in case you're wondering they are the Hemnes two drawer bedside tables in white stain because I'm jumping all over the place in this video let's skip back to diffusing essential oils and I wanted to mention a favorite this month which has been sweet orange essential oil I got this bottle of essential oil from pure nature I will link everything down below as always this is a 50 ml bottle let me just show you that is the big bottle that I normally get which is 30 ml and that's twice the size of a regular like essential oils bottle so that is a whole heck of a lot of essential oils ten dollars I kid you not that was so inexpensive I don't find that the scent lasts for ages but that could be because it's sweet orange essential oil and maybe that's just how it behaves it's the first time I've ever used this essential oil but things like lavender you can put on your skin and then like ages later you can still smell it or like geranium is extremely strongly scented but this one I don't find lasts for hours and hours and hours but I'm still enjoying it I just had in my head I need to buy sweet orange essential oil I don't know where that came from I just decided I needed to buy it bought it and then after I'd had it I thought actually I should look up what are the properties and what are the benefits and I looked it up and everything that it does for you is what I needed like isn't it amazing that your body just knows what it needs so I've really been enjoying that it obviously smells exactly like when you pierce an orange skin and it releases the oils it's just lovely and I just put a drop or two on my wrist and rub it and I inhale it and I also diffuse it Okay, moving on to food a favorite in May has been risotto I just kind of make up my own recipe and obviously I can't put any cheese into it but I just found myself making that a lot and wanting to eat that a lot and really enjoying it so I would roast pumpkin from the garden with spices and then put that into a risotto maybe with some sausages or chicken or lamb or whatever I had and just kind of decide what I wanted to throw in and then cook up the rice with um, bone broth that I normally make and freeze and I just really have been enjoying that it's nice as leftovers as well to reheat risotto just like put some water in so that it's not stodgy anymore and warm it up just really been enjoying that and on top of it and pretty much on top of everything is my next favorite which I'm kind of ashamed about because it's pretty much pure sugar and I don't eat sugar apparently I do at the moment because I've been obsessed with sweet chili sauce I'm on this new like 
thyroid healing protocol and that means no eggs and no eggs means no mayonnaise and that's like tragedy to me because I freaking love mayonnaise and I put it on everything and so without mayonnaise I'm like my food just needs something a little bit of a tang and a zing and I reached for the sweet chili sauce and I I mean I bought this bottle like into May <laughs> it's like down to there already kind of shameful that I'm basically pouring sugar on everything I eat but it's just so delicious I reached a point where I was like I can't keep eating this stuff this is not good and I figured out how to make my own sweet chili sauce with this like chili paste that I have and maple syrup and vinegar but when I'm in a rush this is handy to reach for and it's not good I mean it's gluten free but per tablespoon it has 9.8 grams of sugar so that's like almost two te that's like a teaspoon and a half of sugar I need to stop eating this I really do <laughs> the next thing that I've been enjoying eating in the month of May are these eclipse mints they're like oh which is the right way it's back to front on my viewfinder so I'm like is that the right way up they are just these little breath mints they look like that they're not chewy they kind of hard mints and they are watermelon flavor they are so delicious some of these eclipse mints like the peppermint one is like really strong it's almost bitter like it's got that really really strong peppermint flavor even the spearmint ones which i prefer can have that really strong kind of mint blast these have that watermelon flavor but with like mint in the background and they aren't strong like that but they are so refreshing and they're so delicious and I've just been enjoying them I mean I don't just eat them as sweets but like I'll use it as a breath mint but they're just really enjoyable I love that watermelon flavor they're just refreshing and then my last favorite well not my last favorite because my freebies are also my favorites but I wanted to mention that I've really been enjoying all of the thunderstorms we've been having in May I do not know what is up with the weather normally we'd get maybe one or maybe even two thunderstorms in a year and we have had thunderstorms like every other day in May it's been insane the thunder has been so loud and powerful it's woken us up at night the whole bed shook from the thunder that it felt like an earthquake the windows were rattling I was googling like can thunder actually damage property because that is how loud it was that sonic boom and I absolutely love it because thunder can't damage property thunder can't hurt you at all so you can enjoy the drama and the noise and it's all very like violent and dramatic but it can't actually hurt you unlike the wind you guys know I hate the wind even lightning can hit things although I'm like not that it, I'm not afraid of lightning the wind drives me crazy but thunder go for it it's so enjoyable and it's so fun and like thrilling when it happens and we were having so many thunderstorms that that was a favorite for me in May okay moving on to my freebies which like I said are also favorites the first thing I want to show you is this little gadget which was sent to me by Aroma Noma. I'm not being paid to talk about any of these products, by the way. They were literally just sent to me. So it's got a clip at the back, and then the front is silver, and you can see the green through it. That is, let me see how I'm going to show you. Excuse my nails, by the way. I need to film my gel nail application video, and I haven't done that yet. So this has got a magnetic catch. So you open that and it's got a felt pad that you can take out and you put your essential oils on there close that and then you clip it onto the vent in your car and then when you turn on the heater or the air in your car then it diffuses the aromatherapy oils into your car and you can smell that as you drive i've so been enjoying this now essential oils i can actually smell it now but it's not going to be like oh I'll put my essential oils on put it in the car and then like for the next weak my car smells strongly of that essential oil that's not really how essential oils work you'll kind of smell it as the air is flowing through but i found that i would need to put a couple drops on each time i went for a drive like it's not just going to last for ages so when i get out the car i take this off and i clip it onto my key ring and then when i go for a drive i'm like oh yeah i'll put some oils on there so i've been diffusing peppermint and vanilla and also sometimes the sweet orange which i'll just put on it um and it's it's just lovely it just gives us lovely fresh light scent throughout the car it's not chemical obviously because it's essential oils it's not a heavy scent it's not going to be like too strong or anything it's just 
lovely and then you have the benefits of the essential oils as well it's not just that it smells nice it's that you're actually getting those um, benefits that they give you so that's definitely been a favorite aroma noma also has other products i believe they have like lockets and things so like i said i'll link everything down below definitely go and check out um, their products and see if you want to order yourself a car diffuser because i just think it's such a cute nifty gadget and it looks nice as well it's got like these little crystals around it and i just think it's pretty so yeah really been enjoying that next up i have some beautiful jewelry sent to me by a viewer named julie she has a brand called the foggy pear she isn't actually selling her goodies at the moment she's in the process of moving to new zealand and once she gets here she'll kind of get up and running so i wish i could tell you guys go over and buy some goodies because they are so beautiful and they're all handcrafted and i'll show you in a minute i'm not wearing them because i've had everything in the packages i wanted to show you kind of how beautifully it's been packaged i will link her website and her social media down below so go and check out her work but unfortunately you can't buy her goodies yet but definitely bookmark them and i will let you know when she's here and she's trading because she was so generous she sent me so many goodies let me show you she just said like i want to send you some goodies what do you want and i was just like like you don't have to send me anything but surprise me basically and this is what she surprised me with like a whole pile of beautiful handcrafted jewelry so they come in these gorgeous boxes she's got her branded sticker on the front and then on the back is like the social media and then inside she's even included like these little things which are anti-tarnish for the ones that have got silver on look how gorgeous so this is a necklace and earring set but like the earrings are double-sided so even the back has got the design and it's these gorgeous I don't know is it like resin or it's got like pigments they just look so beautiful in real life I don't know if they're coming across on camera they're shimmery and it's got these swirling designs and I just don't want anything to fall I mean look at this isn't that just gorgeous and each one is unique because obviously they're handcrafted so she sent me that set and these earrings oh my goodness i love these earrings let me actually put them in oh i've just dropped my butterfly on the floor but these earrings i just think are so unique and kind of dramatic look at that it's like a wishbone that goes through your ear so this has just got like a silver wishbone and then this little heart at the bottom that's got red on it isn't that gorgeous it's just so unique now i've got one earring on and one earring off i'll fix that in a minute and then these oh, they are just so adorable they're little teacups look at that they're like it's in this antique brass finish and then it's got that kind of swirly pigment in it and even at the back as well like the attention to detail but like how cute little teacup earrings i'm gonna put these in i've been dying to wear this stuff but i was like i need to keep it all packaged in one place so that i can show you guys and not have them go astray so there you go i'm wearing my teacups because they are so cute um what else she also sent this necklace which is so gorgeous i'm going to wear it with a black top it's a long chain look at that it's just so pretty and then as if that's not enough she also sent okay she sent like two necklacey things depending which one i prefer and on it i can put this gorgeous pendant again with the like antique brass finish and then it's got all like color swirling in it and then matching earrings to go with it which again is double sided so the front looks like that and then the back has also got a swirly design they're just so gorgeous and i'm so grateful for all of this it's like way more than i ever expected and so generous and thank you so much julie for sending me all of these beautiful goodies and i will let you guys know when she's up and running as a store so you can go and treat yourself to some gorgeous jewelry as well 
And then in the vein of super generous viewers, Hayley from the Ivy Cottage contacted me and said she wanted to send me some soy candles. And she asked me which of her scents listed I was interested in. And I mentioned a few, thinking she would just pick one and send it to me. And she sent all three. And they come like this. So there's two designs. There's the like mason jar. And then there's a glass. And she also has like different crystal containers and... And they come like neatly packaged in this little organza bag. So I've got French pear, which as you can see, I haven't started burning yet because I wanted to show you. It's like all neat. I mean, they fall right to the top. She also sent black raspberry and vanilla. They're just gorgeous. They have this ribbon on, this cute little copper detail. And you know, I've got like black and copper in my kitchen. So this looks really good in there. And then it's got the lid and you can see I've started burning it. Top tip for you guys, when you start burning a candle, the first time you burn it, make sure that the wax melts across the entire surface and then it will burn down evenly. So, it's a little tip for you. This smells so good. Black raspberry and vanilla. I've been burning that in the kitchen. Also in the, in the lounge. It's funny because I was kind of wanting to buy candles. I've got my Scentsy warmer and I love that for Scentsy in the home, but we're going into winter now and I really wanted the coziness of a candle and having that flame flickering. And I had just started looking at candles, like which candle should I buy when she contacted me and it was so eerie, it was like she'd read my mind. Um, the other one is coconut lime. And like I said, this comes in the glass without the lid. This one, <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't have a lid on, and I had the three of them standing on the kitchen counter, like, before I even started burning them, and this would scent the room. Like, I could smell wafts of coconut lime as I wandered about. I'm like, what oh, smells so good? And it was this candle, and I hadn't even lit it. So, they smell so good. They're beautifully scented. They're soy candles, so they're not going to be, like, paraffin wax that you're burning. They're just gorgeous. She's got two new scents that I really want. One is tobacco which I know sounds like that's not going to be good, but she lists the top notes, the middle notes, and the base notes, and it sounds like that would be so good. And the other one is elderflower and mint. Like, doesn't that sound heavenly? Like, I really want to pick those up. So I will link her Facebook page down below. A candle like this is $15, which I don't think is bad at all. And I will definitely be going back to her for my candle purchases. Huge fan. Love them. They just... They've just got that like personal touch to them like even the so it's got the scent of the candle there and it's got her printed logo but then you know she's got handwritten on the back which i really like those kind of personal touches and that's what you get from a cottage industry and someone who's kind of got their own business rather than you know like big brands or chain stores or something like that just the extra details just lovely so thank you so much Haley, for sending me these gorgeous candles we've all been enjoying them and i hope you guys will go and check out the candles if you're looking for a candle for yourself or a gift this will be a perfect gift i'll link her details down below so those are my faves fails and freebies for the month of may i hope you guys enjoyed this and that you found something interesting that you might want to go and check out leave me a comment down below letting me know what you were enjoying in may and what else I can put on my food that is not mayonnaise and is not full of sugar. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.